This man does not care. He will stoop down to whatever level he needs to to be this lady's attendant. He has no dignity at all. What's up, guys? It's Celebiathan, and we are back with another reaction today. Today, we are continuing Eden Zero, episode 20. And, um, last episode was a nice setup episode, you know? Um, I think this arc is probably gonna be the craziest we're gonna get for the next, um, five episodes? Six episodes, including this one. Um, it started out with us planning on, I guess, well, we met the captain who was, like, this weird captain who was also, like, a captain of the Eden's One or whatever. There's a mystery going on with that where it's possible that the captain could have been a part of another ship kind of similar to Eden Zero and that, in it turn, was, like, why he's gonna be the captain of this ship now. I, I, I don't know. It was a weird encounter to meet him, but seems he's probably gonna be a bit more important to the story going forward, but whatever. Anyway, we got to Planet Sun Jewel. And we see a couple of things happen. We learn about the Scarlet um, Queen, which is apparently this um, lady who has this crazy godlike weapon that can pretty much give you the hammer of God from the sky, and then like everybody inside it disintegrates. Sheik and Homura fight some um, robbers in, in, I guess, Planet Sundral, which is um, a planet that's been separated by, I guess, the rich and the poor so we saw the rich side where everybody where the world where the city and stuff was made out of gold and all this stuff shit and then like the poor side was just industrial looked like people were like struggling there so it was your it, it was your basic type of rich poor type of planet um or type of concept <laughs> Uh, Homura and Shiki get vaporized by the same thing that those robbers do, so they're gone. And that was the end of the episode, so I don't know what's gonna happen. The Ration 6 is, says, or 6 is on, um, is on, uh, what's it called, Planet Sun Jewel, ready to get the Eden Zero crew as well. I don't think they're dead. I think that that little beam thing actually just transports people into jail cell or some or something like that. I think she's been kind of over exaggerating what her powers are and, and it's just basically like a glorified, I guess, um, teleportation beam or whatever. But um, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, we're going to get into episode 20 and see what actually is that beam. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next. And make sure you check out that Patreon for full uncut reactions of this show, anime, movies, and other stuff. Check it out. It's worth it. <laughs> and, but for, without further ado, though, we're going to get started with Eden Zero Episode 20. Let's go. Oh, see, there we go. We're not gonna be killing main characters off in this show. It ain't that kind of show. It ain't Game of Thrones. <laughs> but they basically, like, sent them to labor camps and stuff like that, right? Oh, man, they, they have freaking prisoner collars all over their necks, man. Ugh. They literally have to mine shit for them, don't they? You know what's funny? I completely forgot about his bug fear. That hasn't been pointed out since like the first episode or the first couple of episodes. She was kind of confused about it too. They literally get no break from this man. There's so many of these things man. Oh my god. That's crazy man. Oh my god. Who are these guys? <laughs> じゃあ、何の説明もなしに連れてこられたっ
倒したストーンズのメタルは即座にクレナイフジンのもとへ転送されるその転送しなきゃならねえ Why does it sound like an RPG type of style type of farming thing? から出るためにはクレナイフジンのために働くしかねえ首の数字がゼロになるまでなそりゃ大変だなって人ごとみてえに言うけどあんたらも同じ状況だからな何You know what's sad about this world of Eden Zero, man? It's like if people here don't have enough money to get a ship, they're stuck here, essentially, and can't leave. Yo, that guy's the warden, man. Are you kidding me? Oh, I knew he was gonna be a little bit of a scumbag, man. Look at him, he has that type of scumbag like face. gonna do man you're nothing right now bro you literally had to have your little robots or whatever attack other people that's how much of a scumbag you are man <laughs> ジェノス星は容姿端麗な殿方が多いと言います。クレナイ夫人の付き人には持ってこいかと。いえいえ、私の方こそクレナイ夫人がこんなに美しい方だったなんて、クレナイ夫人。This man does not care. He will stoop down to whatever level he needs to to be this lady's attendant. He has no dignity at all. Your lips look a little dry. Why don't you wet them a little bit? <laughs> oh my god! You're so weird! What the heck? Oh my god, yo. But she's not falling for any of it though. I like it. She's like, I see through, I see through your fuckboy attitude, man. <laughs> Yo, she is crazy right now. Why does she bring this guy? I feel like Ziggy and them were like pretty famous back in the day. Everybody knew who the Demon King was back in the day. So I figured he was pretty like uh like I feel like he was pretty famous. So そう、だから私のクレナイの目を使って探してほしいと。あの星、相当強力なレーダーとジャミングハが出ていますね。おかげでレベッカの携帯が繋がんねえじゃねえか、クソ。もう少し。ま、この船がレーダーにかかることはない
And in return, I ask just one thing. Just one itty bitty thing. Your firstborn son. <laughs> oh my god, I knew it. She was gonna ask for a collab with Happy too, man. Oh my god. You know what? Kudos to you, Lavinia. I didn't really think she would be the type of person who would actually care about something like that. Yo, we found a hardcore diehard fan for this. Yo, hardcore diehard fan. Anime wa uchi wo sukuze. Oi, are Mino jo nai ka? おもろだ。かっけ。楽しないでくれる<笑> This is a weird place to be doing a uh, YouTube video, I guess you could say. <laughs> this casino sure is getting a nice free show right here, man. Honestly, they didn't have to pay for any of it. <laughs> <laughs> Lavinia, you lost all my respect. I don't care. I had I had you like you were kind of tilting a little bit, but now you're just drop down, man. I can't believe you pulled the carry on her. I can't believe you pulled the carry on her. Come on, that's not even funny, man. You gotta read the room, man. People, like, there's the serious shit that's going on here. I like how Pino has a better sense of how to be a human than characters like these in the show. Honestly. Just such an inflated ego, this character. So stupid. Nino is a real one. I like this guy right here, man. He's a real one. Let's go. Ski. Yo, Shiki didn't give a shit. Let's go. Let's go right there. So, first half of that episode was pretty interesting. Um, we had a little bit of uh, an idea of what the labor district is all about. You had a lot of people here. It looked as though when I said before, oh, they can just leave. They, there's no nothing keeping them here. All that stuff. I started to notice that there was a like barrier-like thing on the top of the sky or whatever. So I'm thinking that kind of stops people from from escaping. So it is technically like a a open style type of jail i guess you can say where people have the freedom to work off their debts but at the same time it's like it's still jail like you can't leave until you fit, fit like 
repay whatever you think they owe you and st stuff like that. Um, we got to see some of the Scarlet, uh, Madam Scarlet, uh, or I'll say Madam Kurenai just because of what the subs are saying. Um, how cruel she can be. <laughs> it was pretty funny seeing what she was doing with that one guy who was acting all like smug, like, yo, look at me, I'm like hot shit and stuff. Like, you know you want me and she's just like, yo, like, who is this guy? Who is this dude? Yo, like, don't even touch me. <laughs> So you can really see where her priorities lie. Like she, she has some really big cruelty type of uh, vibes going on with her. Um, her and the Ration Six have a little bit of a deal, so things are starting to really pick up. I believe it's episode 20, man. So like five more episodes and shit's about to pop off. I'm excited. Um, the whole Rebecca thing with Lavinia. Ugh, I hated her before. I hated her even more later on, but I thought that she would at least be one of those types of characters who kind of get redeemed or something at some point, you know what I mean? But like, she literally did all that just to embarrass her. For what reason? She heard her friends were it, were captured somewhere, that they needed help. She literally herself said that Shiki helped her out and that she should repay him, but she was bullshitting the whole time. Like. <laughs> How much of a scumbag do you have to be to do all that shit? Like, at least I thought that she would help her in the end. You know what I mean? Got what she wanted and help her out in the end, but... Ugh, whatever. Anyway, Homer's got captured by that creepy guy with the whip who thinks he's hot shit, too. So many people in this episode think they're hot shit when they're not. It's crazy. <laughs> and now Shiki's ready to come and destroy this guy. He's like, I don't give a shit. If anybody else gets attacked or whatever, like, this is what my friend, I'm not gonna let my friend get hurt. You know, and I like that a lot. I'm hoping he destroyed all the robots outside, because I don't, I don't like people who, who have, like, a lot of power, and they don't need it or don't deserve it, and they're not using their own power. It's just, it's so sad to watch, honestly. It makes me sick, and it makes me look like you aren't doing anything, but, like, having the opportunity to be able to do stuff like this because somebody gave you that opportunity. You didn't earn it. You know what I mean? You didn't do shit to earn this opportunity. You didn't gain any strength or anything. That's why some characters in the show like Drac and Joe, I know for a fact is gonna be a boss. Like, I know he's gonna have like legitimate strength and everything. Cause every, every, most arcs that we kind of meet some characters, like we had some of those characters from the beginning arcs and whatnot going on. Um, they weren't very strong. A lot of them were all had like inflated egos. There was a couple of characters that were really good. Like the Jin guy with the wind ether is real cool. I, I can't wait to see him again. Um, who else? Who else? Uh, we didn't really get anybody else. I mean, we had that whole sister thing. Most of the other battles were just fighting the crew of the Eden Zero. So, yeah. I don't think anything else really came from any of that, but... Whatever. Anyway, with that, I think I'm going to end the videos for today. It was great reacting to this. I'm going to continue it whenever I have an opportunity to. Um, but thank you guys all for your support. It's been great, and I've loved it so, so much. But with that note, we're going to end the video there. I will see you guys around, and have a great existence. Bye.